So, the pull chain for the light always stayed on. So in here, in the bottom, is the light switch. And it only has two black wires to it because this is a light only. So we're going to replace it. Basically, what we're going to do is unthread this part. I took the chain already off. Pop this on the inside. And now we will lift it out. And as you can see, two black wires. One connected here and one connected over here. So I'll swap the switches. Here's the new switch. Um, here's the new switch that I got at Ace Hardware. If you'll notice, this part is bright I mean bright brass, and this part is brown. I'll just use the old one right here. I'll use that old one and replace it on this one. The chain won't match for the first few inches, but that's all right. Except for the um, color of the chain, the new switch matches the old one exactly. There's the new switch put in place. You can see the chain doesn't match. I could have painted it. And it's real easy just to put this end. Come on. This end of the switch. Um, I'll put, put this chain with the connector onto that chain. It really doesn't matter which of these wires goes to which of the connections but I took the bottom off of one I put it on the other again it doesn't matter the most important thing is if you look at the wire nut and the wires there is no bare wire sticking out past the end of the wire nut when attaching this last wire from the switch it's really important this light has three lamps so you have to make sure you have the black wires from all three lamps together and then and then we'll attach the wire from the switch to those three wires. Once I have the wire nut on there, it's really important to test the pull test. Make sure the wires don't pull out of the nut and that's done and it's ready to go back in. It has a quick connector to plug back into the others. And I didn't even have to take out the screws all the way around because if you look right here, there's slots. So all you have to do is loosen the screw, turn the base and drop it down. You can keep the screws in place. I'm sorry, one more thing. This little piece right here you've seen before that is how you link chains together I'm taking this one off the old switch and I'll put it on the end of that chain and the end of the old chain that matches and to minimize how much chain is sticking out I cut it a little shorter using a pair of diagonal pliers but not too short because the chain can fall inside the switch and you'll never get it out. Lastly, here's the bottom of the fan to give you an idea what it looks like. And you can see the screws still in the side. Makes it easier to slip things on. So it's connect, put the piece up, twist it on, tighten the screws, and you're done. So, the pull chain for the light always stayed on. So in here, in the bottom, is the light switch. And it only has two black wires to it because this is a light only. So we're going to replace it.
basically what we're going to do is unthread this part. I took the chain already off, pop this on the inside, and now we will lift it out. And as you can see, two black wires, one connected here and one connected over here. So I'll swap the switches. Here's the new switch. Um, here's the new switch that I got at Ace Hardware. If you'll notice, this part is bright chrome, I mean bright brass, and this part is brown. I'll just use the old one right here. I'll use that old one and replace it on this one. The chain won't match for the first few inches, but that's all right. Except for the um, color of the chain, the new switch matches the old one exactly.